This was the moment Norway's deadliest mass murderer learnt his fate. Dommen er enstemmig og har følgende slutning. This is a unanimous judgment and it has the following conclusion. For a term of 21 years and a minimum period of 10 years, see the penal code section 39E first and second subsections from the said term and said minimum period a deduction of 445 days shall be made for time spent in custody. For varetektsfengsel. And as Bering Breivik calmly listened and smiled as the verdict was given. 21 years is Norway's maximum prison term, but he could be held indefinitely if still considered a threat. The five judges unanimously found Breivik to be sane, which is what Breivik wanted, so his Islamophobic ideology wouldn't be considered the rantings of a lunatic. For those affected by the tragedy, they now finally have an opportunity to move on. The people who suffer the most are the young people who lost their lives and the people wounded and the relatives out at Utøya and also here in the governmental house in Oslo. Now they have the possibilities to move forward. One of my clients has followed most of this case uh, and it's been important for her to, to hear the witnesses and to, to get the documentation. Uh, and I think for many people that's also part of the process, the healing process, uh, so that you can go on later on in life. It was on July 22nd last year that Breivik carried out his massacre. After killing eight people in a bomb attack on Oslo's parliament building, the right-wing extremist disguised as a policeman headed to Utoa Island where the ruling Labour Party was running a youth camp. He proceeded to gun down 69 people, most of them teenagers. Breivik's motivation lay in a hatred for the government that he thought was too liberal on Muslim immigration. Prior to the attacks, he published a manifesto on the internet decrying what he called the Muslim invasion of Europe. During his trial in April, he qualified his actions as a necessary atrocity. I acknowledge the acts, but not criminal guilt, and I claim legitimate defence. With Breivik's fate now sealed, many hope to move forward from this tragedy, although the events of July 2011 have left an indelible mark on Norway's modern history.